gates are open at the landings. Fans are on the grounds and professional golf has returned to Savannah with the first round of the club car championship. Yeah, Tim's out at the course and joins us again live. This is a great opportunity for golf fans, Tim, as the uh, Corn Ferry Tour comes through town. It's an event that fans look forward to. Kids get the chance to see pro golfers up close. Some of them even getting to swing, swing the clubs out there. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the players actually look forward to coming back here as well. We're seeing that by how many of them showed up at the Club Car Championship. This is probably the best field of the year so far on the Corn Ferry Tour. There's been five events and there haven't been this many top players here. 47 players in this week's field have won Corn Ferry Tour events before. There are 11 past PGA Tour winners on this uh, at the, in this event so the field is, is really deep and it, really a lot of different players can win but the guy who has been creating maybe more interest than anyone this week is the youngest and last one into the field 16 year old Anthony Percier qualified for the club car championship through a Monday qualifying tournament in Statesboro now he is from Buford Georgia he is homeschooled so he is not on a golf team, he doesn't have a season to be playing right now, and there's a little bit of a lull in the junior amateur circuit. So he was looking for a place to compete and decided, I'm going to go try my hand at the qualifier for the Corn Ferry event. He goes to Statesboro, shoots 66, gets in a five-way playoff for one spot that carried over to Tuesday morning. He ends up winning that, and now he is enjoying his first professional event. Talked to my parents, I'm like, want to do this? And they go, yeah, let's do it. So went down to Statesboro and played practice round and played Monday and uh, played a good round of golf and uh, got into a playoff and praise God, I got on top. I'm just gonna have a good time. I mean, I have a buddy of mine back at home told me, cause he's on Corn Ferry Tour. He goes, just have, just soak it in, have a good time, you know, and also play well. And what I'm looking forward coming after this event is how am I going to play the game afterwards? I feel like it's just going to be a lot different, you know, coming to a pro event and see how my worth worth ethic is and just to make it better and, you know, pretty soon be, on, be here, so. Well, that is definitely the goal for Anthony, to play professionally. He would like to do that when he's a little bit older and he is getting his first test of pro golf right now. He started his first round at 9.31, so he's just a couple holes in. But yesterday, he was not the only young player out here at the Deer Creek course. Three local junior golfers were invited to play in the Pro-Am tournament by the Club Car Championship. Finn Nixon, Christopher Templeton, and Thomas Claiborne. They got to play with two different Corn Ferry professionals. They got to walk inside the ropes at a pro tournament, a memorable, memorable day for the junior amateurs, but also for the professional playing partners very excited. It's a great opportunity to be able to play out here in course conditions with a pro. It's amazing. Yeah, it was really fun. I was really excited I got invited. It's fun to be able to give them a little tip here and there, see if they can pick up on some things. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's great to give the kids a spot in the Pro-Am and get them out here and play with the pros. It's probably pretty cool. Well, it was especially cool for one of those young players. Finn Nixon made a hole-in-one in yesterday's Pro-Am. He holed out on Deer Creek's eighth hole. It's a par three. Uh, he didn't know the ball was even in the hole until he drove up there. But uh, what a day, you know, playing with a professional, making a hole-in-one in tournament conditions two days before his birthday. And, guys, his dad was more excited than he was, and you happen to know his dad, Matt Nixon, our sales director at WTOC, who caddied for Finn, and like any good caddy, he took that hole-in-one ball right out of play so they didn't lose it.